Moses has it. Jesse wants it. Nice takedown, man. I, I love seeing guys catching kicks mm -hmm. and, and using them as a takedown. It's a very efficient way to, to, to get a takedown. Man. Very intelligent. Strong punches here on the ground. You know, with his guard open here, really, I, I, I would want him to, to pass, at least go to half guard or maybe side control. You know, the guy's not uh, closing his legs. Now he's closing his guard a bit. But anytime those legs are open like that, it, it's best to push down and, and go to half guard. There's less threats in half guard than there is from, from, from the full mm -hmm. guard. From the mm -hmm. full guard, he can still do arm bars, triangles, things like that. A lot but of if submissions. You go, if you go to half guard, there's, there's less uh, threats there. So. If he would just push one leg down and go to half, it'd be a very intelligent move. But even with him uh, standing over him like this, man, he should, uh, looks like he's going to start laying some good ground. In there. Yeah, he's trying to uh, move into half guard. All right. Now he's in side control, so. Oh. Looks like he's going to go to mount. And get his head up. There you go. Great job. Uh, he's doing a great job of, of triangling his legs and controlling that wrist behind him. He's really fitting to have his way with him now, just, just pummeling him with his left hand now. The fight might get up. Oh. I ain't got his hand loose. Moses is a very high thinker, very strategic in his fighting. So far this round, it's all Moses. Yeah, Rock is going to stop this soon. Yeah, this. Uh, Come on, Rocky. Stop the fight. He's trying to kick him up higher on his chest. And it's that's it. That's the fight. No, that's the round. No, that was the fight. All right then. Moses Oropesa, he's going to keep that belt. So the victory goes to Moses Oropesa. Rocky will make it official. TJ will get a few words with, with Moses. Our main event coming up between Michael Bryant and Brian Mendoza is going to be another. It could go either way with those two guys. Rocky Demir calling them to the scene.
Nice. Hey, man, congratulations on your win. You did a great job. I noticed you catch that kick, use that for a takedown, and congratulations on your win. You did a great job controlling top position and, and getting the win. However, uh, there was a, a, a miss of weight. Is, is everything okay with your weight? Can you explain your weight, your, your, the, the miss of weight? Yeah, um, originally I was on, I was uh, scheduled for the Fury card, and then uh, I couldn't get an opponent. So I, I talked to Johnny, and Johnny, uh, he's a great man. He was like, I'll put you on the show. It was just really like short notice. Um, I, cut, I cut a lot of weight and I just couldn't make it. And that's my fault. That's no one to blame but myself. Sure. But uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Right. I'm grateful to God. God blessed me with this victory. Hey man, uh, that's the beautiful thing about the amateurs, man. You can, you can learn on the process. So when you turn pro, you won't make the same mistakes, right? Well, that's the next. This was my last amateur fight. I'm going pro. Um, thank you to my opponent, dude. I know you took this on short notice and it was, it, it was a tall order, bro. Thank you and your team, man. I, I really appreciate it. We, we both had opponents fall. Um, thank you to uh, Coach Cody Hofstad, Coach Andrew, 10 Planet Austin, Round in Santa Ana, all my friends, my family, my sponsors. Um, as Shaka is going to bring home that bell tomorrow, and everyone fighting on Fury Card this week. Let's go! Hey, congratulations. Let's give him another hand, guys. Are you guys ready for the main event of tonight?